What's up guys, I'm here with PDC vs Ricardo, my um, computer was lagging so I restarted the recording, let us rewatch. Um, they both lagged with Landris and PDC got a crit on the Ricardo's Landris and Ricardo just got up rocks. And I was saying rocks are nice because PDC is the only potential way to get rid of rocks is uh, Defox Scissor which is like not that common. He goes packs first. Trying to pivot, I guess. Hmm. I mean, he could have gone scissor immediately. Maybe in case um, Ricardo tried to go something that beats scissor, like Merrick, I can get behind that play. And he, he's kind of forced to roost here, but if he has defog, that's also an option. Yeah, he was pretty much forced to roost. I don't think he is defog scissor, honestly. I think he's pursued or SD with U turn and roost and bullet punch. Shadow one doing good good damage, good damage. Maroc being the good one it is with sick club. So yeah. BDC also gets up his rocks. Ricardo has a defog type of feed. This is uh, Ricardo just bringing his standard bulky offense. Like I've been using a few Ricardo teams, so I know what he likes, like he uses Among Us every now and then. He likes Ash Greninja a lot. Um, so I could see this being Protein Greninja to throw. To, to try and catch PDC off guard. Um, a specific Protein Greninja. Like, he would need to be um, extra sensory in this match to do something to the Toxapex. Or he can just crit flinch it, I guess. I mean, Zamrock got hexed. Yes, the Zamrock is his teammate. So I guess he can hex back. Wait, he, Ricardo's on the cryos, yeah? Right? I'm not I'm not going insane. I'm pretty sure he's on the cryos. Okay. So that looks like mm, Yeah, this looks like a bit more but death Among Us, which is pretty standard and Sun and Moon. So the type of pin could be a more fist death oriented orientated, good god, I cannot speak. I'm like 34 hours awake, so this but death among us is for stuff like Tapu Coco, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, he has the Merrick too. Hmm. But this is like a secondary check for Ashgren and Coco, so he also has this for Ashgren too. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the Mungus also checks. Like, Superior is not common in this matter. So, we as Heat Trend as. Um, it's pretty much Scarf Trend as. Ricardo made a nice play scouting, switched out uh, his Metagross into Tapu Fini. Pretty much confirmed Scarf Trend. Um, I mean, he can decide if he wants to. I think he's just gonna Nature's Madness. If he has Scar, that's an option. But yeah, he's na just Nature's Madness and he misses, with, which sucks. Uh, damage on Bullet would have been nice. I'm just gonna check if I, like, edit this. If I. Never mind, never mind. Because I'm uploading a video and I was about to say I didn't add a thumbnail to that one. I don't want that video going public before I edit a thumb before I add a thumbnail because it doesn't look it doesn't look good. Trust me. <laughs> no one wants to see a video without a thumbnail. Um. So he can go Metagross here. Is pretty much his only play. Yeah. Oh, Mungus also play. Metagross makes more sense, especially yeah, if he predicts it to be SD because the Mungus would get blown away by potentials and headbutt. Which is like kind of common on SD. Tabu Bulu. Good god, I almost kind of have to sneeze. Hmm. I can hold it back. I don't know why I said that, man. Mm. So it's just gonna mash here. Like, it's a plus to. Yeah. It's a plus to Bulu, yeah, to mash there. In front of a threat, you cannot play games. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. There was no way of preventing that. <laughs> Good God. Because um, I cannot pause it on OBS. I guess I could have. Yeah, I could have gone away from a microphone, but um, I'm literally bringing you guys to coverage. I'm like, um, I think 35 hours a week or something like that. The only, only hours where there was no SBL coverage, but there were like 8 or 10 hours in the morning where I could have gotten sleep, but 
for some reason. I couldn't sleep there. I tried for two hours and then I just stayed up again. <laughs> okay, helmet um, Lando is um, Ricardo's sex helmet Lando, which is nice that he gets some chip on the scissor. So the scissor is pretty low now. It's at 44 after rocks, so it cannot switch into Metaverse. Yeah, that's nice. So PDC has to see how he plays around Metagross. If his ice punch, the Zygarde doesn't do well versus that. He can pivot around, like he can go heat turn into... Nah. Yeah, he can go heat turn on a mash, try to go Landris on on an earthquake or hammer arm and... But nah, the, he will take rocks in the process by switching around. He just goes into um scarf trim, which is a decent play to keep the metagross out. So this is pretty much a free tap of Fino. This should run off power, so Merrick is probably not the play. Yeah, pretty much a free tap of Fini and just fire over Nature's Madness. Hmm. Nature's Madness on the Bulu sucked a bit. It would have been like like it would have gotten grassy to run back. I don't remember if it was left or was Tapu Bulu. We can check by scrolling up. Nah, the Tapu Bulu didn't have the Tapu Bulu didn't have leftovers. It just got grassy to run recovery. So it would have been at like 60% maybe with two turns of grassy terrain after Nature's Madness. So I'm pretty sure he cocked or he knows that Greninja loves a hit, so he doesn't want to go Fini and let the Bulu come in again. So, I'm interested to see if he brought Ash Greninja again. Would love to see this being X to Sen 3, but I don't think he is. I mean, we will see. Yeah, he is probably in Greninja this time, that's nice. But then nothing. Is he, is he Scarf Greninja? Like, because I know Ricardo, like, always is a fan, is a big fan of. Um, he always wants to have one scarf on his balance or bulky offense for speed control and as long as it's rock so it's not scarf and yeah, that's I think it's scarf going ninja <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure no he doesn't have to defog he has a among us to absorb the T spikes I'm not really sure but who gets hurt more by the rocks he has a Marowak which is weak to rock, so maybe he wants to defog. Like, what is Marowak's main task, or like, what can Marowak do in this matchup? He doubles into Marowak. Break in the type of bully, yeah, that's a nice play. My brain was not working, I was like thinking, what, what, what did he predict? So. I wonder if he's gonna like go hard heat run. I think he might go for her mom. He predicted the heat run. Yes, yes. I called the prediction. I called the prediction. I'm f 35 hours awake, but I called. Really nice play. Really nice. <laughs> like um. Yeah, I'm going on in here. Um, I wanted to make like Ricardo imitation when I did this recording with friends, but. Uh, my friend TK kind of died, his internet is like low and I'm not really like in the mood to make like to have like a fun conversation when I'm like super tired um, but I'm still trying my best to bring out the content like if I don't sound motivated it's just because I'm super tired yeah this is the only reason defogging would have been nice because I mean getting rid of the heat run was pretty clean I gotta say that. I mean, PDC pretty much like it was fine for PDC sacking it to get the scissor in and then get a roost off. Like, Wack has to take rocks, poison, U turn. It's just annoying. You can just fire off a shadow bone. Like, Lannis is asleep, so that's not a switch in. Yeah, he doesn't have a good switch in. Zyga's gonna take 5 million. Like, Zyga's gonna take like. 65 maybe maybe 70 
That, I, I would say this is like 65 to 70. Oh, okay, Flub it's not. I thought he went for Shadowbone. Um, the Grassy Terrain is helping him out a bit, so he doesn't get that much damage. Um, I'm going Mungus to get rid of T-Spike, yeah. Eating it up, so... What does BHP eyes on Mungus? Because otherwise it's just subs on it. Is it HP eyes? It is HP eyes. Okay, okay. Nice, nice to see. Nice preparation on his part. It's always interesting to see, like... What he brings, like... Like people that you kind of know, like I don't know him that well, but I have he was in a few of my videos. And I've used a few of his teams, so I kinda know what, what he likes. I like his playstyle like in general. I mean his Marok is like super low if he doesn't defog. It's not doing much. This time he hits like. If he hit last time, it would have been nice. But you see my double here, breaking the Metagross, honestly. Like, the meta is so obvious, like. I could write a book about it. I did a good chunk, honestly. I guess that PDC doesn't lose much by making this play, because. This type of will get some health back with the Horn Leech and Grassy Terrain. And he has a Scissor on the back to come in on this and like... The only thing that pressures the Scissor really really well is the Marag. And Marag cannot really come in because it's poison and rocks up. So yeah, PDC doesn't do as much by making this play. He had no reason to double. I was just <laughs> trying to suggest some wild play there for no reason. Uh, goes on the top of Fini pricked in the scissor, I assume, oh, Toxic Perks, hmm. Like, assume he pricked the scissor and... Mountain Nature's Madness that something along those lines. He's probably gonna taunt here, okay, Moomba is predicting his potential switch into Tapu Bulu on the taunt, that's a potential play, yeah. Doesn't work out in that case, because he didn't lose anything from staying in there, like... Perks just... Being Pex, annoying, sitting there, you don't kill that easy. <laughs> okay, that's the taunt finally. <laughs> he just scolds again. I mean, that doesn't do anything. Um, it can only do something to Fini now when the Misty Terrain wears off, because now the Fini can get burned. So, yeah, he can fish now. Um, this is nice to see that he doesn't get the burn first, first try. Um, I think this is Ricardo's second game. He got subbed in week one. If I recall correctly, it was Flame Victini. And he had to play Super late at night. It was not optimal for him as, yeah. PTC is really fishing and he's not getting it. He's just gonna, like, Moonblast here, right? Oh, he turned. Okay, Perantin will recover. Ah, uh, I guess Moonblast was a roll there and there was no point in risking anything. I mean, he's pretty much forced into Metagross. Metagross resisting rocks and great terrain being up helps Metagross, like, otherwise, he would get worn down too fast. That, but in the long run, the rocks hurt Ricardo a little bit more since the whack is weak to rocks, like I already said. Scarf Greninja doesn't do sh like doesn't do that much with Toxapex, but Toxapex is kind of low. Like if he can keep the Toxapex low, if he can like make plays that prevent PDC from bringing the Toxapex in to get more regen, that would be like nice. So he can potentially win with Scarf Ice Beam late game or even Hydro Pump. Like, Scissor is way too healthy um, for Ice Beam, obviously. Like, I assume Scarf Palm does like maybe 40 to Scissor, maybe maybe only 38. Uh, I really don't know the card. That's just my head card. 
Like, I don't know his sizzle spread, I'm just assuming it's like, it makes HP says I was a little bit spread out. <coughs> but sizzle is like probably mm, somewhat defensive, so we can check Metagross pretty well. Chev is going wild about Meta, Gross and Mosa and Greninja. Need to go. Maybe Landris too is what Mail said, but we're not going to discuss about that now. I really just hope Dougie gets banned. <laughs> I, mean, I got my Rex, so I voted, but it's gonna be super close, man. Dougie might stay. Um, yeah, this is what I meant. Like, PC just got his Toxaplex health, and now it's looking. Super bad for Ricardo. I mean, he makes a really nice play. Pretty good bull there. But the Toxapex just got healthy again. Oh, and he gets a crit. Ouch. I mean, at least he didn't get a burn early on the on the on the top of Fini. You can just U-turn, yeah. I mean, the roost is probably fine too. But yeah, I thought he's U-turn. Like, he just keeps horn leeching, he keeps making this play. Metagross cannot come in forever. He can also SD if he wants to predict the Mungus. Like, he doesn't lose much, even if Metagross comes out, he just goes. Actually, he, yeah, he just goes back up to Scissors and Samaric is too pressured by rocks. Like, I don't see a good double that Ricardo can make the pressure this is, or maybe the type of Fini and Taunted so it can't Ruth, but like. That's not the like super best good perfect answer. Huh, this is like. This is looking like tough for Ricardo. Mm. Not sure, would his level still be live if it didn't get crit turn 1? I remember he sacked it off. To U-turn after rocks, it probably would have still been around, but don't know if that made like a difference. So this time, yeah, PC went in the packs again to get even more regions. So he got his packs like super healthy now. You can just go scissor here. You can't even stay in because he eats this, yeah. And just go for recover. Good God! Since he has grassy turn, I mean, what this is doing is it's um, giving Ricardo's Metagross health back, which is nice. So he doesn't want to go hard into. He doesn't want to go hard. So he goes thunderous. Uh, Landris on the thunder punch. Wondering if he's gonna go scissor now. Tabafini is a good mid ground play. Covers him staying in. It covers him going into um, scissor. But he just goes pex. He doesn't care. Like pex is just annoying as fuck. Like if you ever played toxic pex on the ladder, you know, you know, it's not fun today unless you have unless you have like. Something like a Spex Hooper, or oh, you have like some really nice wall break. Because if you're facing some fat Toxic Pex balance of Toxic Pex um, store, I type of Coco is honestly really cool. Sad with um, Torn Nature's Madness. Um, like if you have space for it, you can run tap Tapunium Z's to do 75 to to a big wall like Chansey, and then kill it with Wild Charge next turn if you want on that set. But you don't even need wild charge, you can just run taunt so they can heal. And Flame Victim used like a really interesting set with like a berry, I forgot the name. But if you get to like 25%, you like heal 50%, if I recall correctly. So you can taunt chances and take multiple seismic tosses, which is really cool. Like you can just manage and taunt them, and they cannot beat you that well with seismic toss because you get the berry that heals you 50%, and you also run some. HP on his Coco. I don't think he revealed the, the EV spread, but we're pretty much um, that this is pretty much like repetitive. The scenarios like this already happened before. Like just Bulu keeps SDing or Horn leeching and Metagross keeps coming in. Okay, this time finally different play. Mera comes in again, just takes a little bit of damage. With U-turn, it takes a bit more though. Like. This is where Merrick being so slow hurts it. Because if it was faster than Scissor, 
It wouldn't take that you don't ship every time. This time he goes for Shadow Bond, though. That's a hell of a lot of desire. If he went for Shadow Bond last time, we went for Flare, but it would have been super good for him. I still don't see how he breaks Toxapex, though. Um, I didn't even realize who defogged the way since I was, like, talking about the Tapu Koko set. The Storm, which is, like, super nice, was Stall. I mean, I can I can look it up. Use defog. Ah, oh, so Ricardo defog the way. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd be on that play. I had enough of rocks. Like, you can pretty much keep rocks off the field. Tony has nice, so he doesn't get these specs here. What's the right play? I mean, he has Among Us anyway. If he gets Scorpion, he's just really bad. So I think he might have to switch here. I, ju I guess he's just, yeah, he's just weakening this. He's just hoping he doesn't get burned. And there's the burn. I mean, it was about to happen. This was like the sixth scald. I didn't count, but this was like the fifth, sixth scald he fired off. Like, now the leftovers get cancelled out. At least, mm, like, this is. I like that burn got nerfed and something like uh, He misses another night, just man. It's like. Mm, not sure how much that matters. Yeah, someone said he left for five minutes and the exact same thing is happening. Like, that's what I'm saying, it's like kind of stale. Like, the the, the main problem is he here is that uh, Ricardo's and Marek got poisoned and like weakened from rocks and chipped from multiple U-turns. If this Marek was healthy, I think this was a... This would have been like... <laughs> it could have pulled through, like Marek... So it comes in on scissor, every time it comes in on scissor on a double switch If there were no rocks he could afford to make like a double like that It would get a huge hit on something Hmm And someone said why is he not taunting I think And someone else said he's not taunting because he's predicting him to Go for Skull instead of Rukau which is like obvious like it makes sense Yeah, but now that the like Fini got burned, the skull chip damage is gonna come in and the Fini is getting lower and lower. That's just madness, that would have been really really nice on the sis. But he has the sis still healthy, he's probably just gonna go back to Pex. Cause, okay, he just stayed and he didn't care. I guess he had enough options to check Metagross even if this got lower. Like this still checks Metagross even if it took another hit. Yeah, and Bullwinch would have to it killed Fini, pretty sure. I really don't see Ricardo's win condition. Which is a bit sad. I wanted him to win this. Scarf Grinch is an interesting set. I've been playing around with that a bit. Like, I think he's that set. Like, not 100% sure, but like, like 80%. <laughs> Yeah, with U turn. U turn Ice Beam probably and maybe Dark Pulse because Mega to hit Mega Metagross. And Dark Pulse will make sense to me to hit Mega. Because, like, he doesn't have that much that beats Metagross. Like, Metagross beats it if it's healthy, but, like, some Metagross for an Earthquake. Landris is also not the best switch in if they're pretty dead coming. Go for Ice Punch, and Fini can only, like, switch in once. And this, uh, Fini just gets well way too fast. Uh, like, Fini's not the best, it's not a good meta switch, and especially because they're on. Like, Mesh does a ton, T Bunch does a ton. So, there were a few recordings. I guess the crit. I guess he just has to go for a Para now, that's like his only play. Yeah, he has to go for Hex, he doesn't have another game. Pl like, he doesn't have any choice here. Toxapex. Um, even if this had extra sensory packs, would eat one for sure because it's not not life over specs or anything. Unless it's uh, specs protein and I'm getting bluffed. <laughs> I don't think so. That Grinja use anything else than U turn so we can like see if it's specs. 
Okay, Ninja used. Nah, yeah, he used the Hydro Bomb, which is 16 Toxic Packs. I really don't think that's Packs. Like, I don't know if the Packs is. I think the Packs is more Fistiff. And that he ate up the, the T Punch from Meta decently well. Yeah, Fini just like slowly gets worn down. This is just painful, dude. Sad, sad. I was like. Hmm. I was hoping for like. A bit more entertaining game. It wasn't a, it wasn't a super bad game, but it's just, it was just repetitive. And Ricardo didn't really have. I don't know if it was a matchup or if PDC played well. I think yeah, it was kind of matchup. This Toxapex gave him so much trouble. The combination of Toxapex and Scissor was so good for PDC. Like if he didn't have that scissor or that matter was like after he got the, the, the heat run with the prediction that I actually called He might have had a huge chance if there was no scissor but yeah that's like I guess nice prep on PC's part. This might even buy the bullet punch or the U turn as a crit comes out, Sai. Like Toxapex would have eaten any hit, I assume, and they would have died to poison anyway. And Toxapex with Vigen is just that annoying mod that made this match like pretty much in PDC's favor, if like in my opinion. He's he's a good sport. He says to Genie four of it, and was uh, ninety four turns. I yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna like try to get this up ASAP. God, God, like I record a lot of other battles before this, so I don't want to spoil the outcome of the series. Like I think I don't even went into detail. Um, how most of the series ended. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Is there? Yeah. There's one more game that I'm gonna record, which is Adam vs. Partial. If I'm like, if I'm gonna be able to, I'm really tired. I'm gonna do my best. Peace out, friends. I will like catch you. Just stay tuned. I will push out a lot of SPL content. I'm super tired, so there might be a few hours where less content is coming. But next day and the day after, the content is gonna like, whew, you're gonna get three or four videos a day, maybe even five. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.